Hallo, Aditya. Oh, we're already recording. Cool. I'm going to start sharing since we're already recording. That's great. Share screen. You should be able to see my proposed agenda. Hello, Mark. Hi, Aditya. Thanks for joining. Hi, happy to be here. Let's see, so am I sharing the correct screen, Aditya? Do you see the, the agenda on screen? Yes, I do. Great. Okay, then let's get started. So welcome, everyone. It's the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Special Interest Group meeting. Uh, Oleg has joined us as well. That's great. I've got draft agenda topics here. I don't expect to see Alyssa Tong. I believe she's out this week. So topics I had, KubeCon booth support, DevOps World, and Hacktoberfest. And then outreach programs. We had talked last week and the week before, or two weeks ago and four weeks ago about campus programs. I could give a status on Google Summer of Code and She Code Africa for 2022. Any other topics that should be added to the agenda? It depends on whether we have people joining, because it doesn't make much value in discussing other topics. Agreed. And I don't expect um, she, she, Stava. I don't know about Jackie, but I don't expect um, Alyssa to join. And so I would hold any topics that need Alyssa for another time. Oh, did I misspell your name, Aditya? Oh, I did. Thank you. Corrected. No problem. All right. So, so I propose let's go through the through the topics we've got, and and we'll conclude the meeting after we've covered them as well as we can. So, KubeCon booth support was a request sent by email from Jackie. I believe it went to Jenkins users, or was it Jenkins Jenkins advocacy? It was uh, Jenkins advocacy. Yeah. And I don't think I've seen any responses yet. No. She's looking for both remote um, help and local help at the conference. And I'm confident, I think I could, Mark expects to be available to help. I just haven't blocked it out on my calendar yet. I don't commit on that because timing is terrible. Mm -hmm. for me um, and uh, yeah i mean it happens on the evenings and uh, right. there are many other details you mark know about uh, so yeah i prefer to not commit at all and my my kubecon application was rejected anyway so okay aditya are you interested in joining as part of a being part of a booth at the kubecon conference relative to cdf well, that would be great, but I'm not uh, aware of the timings and uh, the dates of this one. This time. Uh, and so let me see. Let's, that's a good point. I should have had that ready. Let me find her message and let's get the details put into this into these notes because that that will certainly be important to people. Where is it? It's in. Ah, here we go. CDF virtual booth. Okay. It will be, she says this coming. Oh, here we go. Okay. Virtual booth staff hours. So there, there are her notes. Oh, that didn't help. 
Okay, um, let's just do it this way. Monday, October 11 through Friday, October 15. There we go. And let me embed the, the link to that email so that others can find it. It is, oh, interesting. Okay, it's, it's at CD Foundation mailing list, so it's not, okay. There we go, all right. But I, I don't see any replies to it even, even on the CDF list. Okay, so more help needed for, for Jackie. But the time, uh, they are in which time zone? Uh, Pacific. UPC? Yeah, US, okay. no, this is US Pacific. US Pacific, okay. okay. Yeah, sorry. So that means uh, shift them by what, 11 and, a half, 11 and a half hours? So. Yes, I guess. <laughs> terrible. Late evening. Uh, late at night to impossibly early in the morning for you. Looks like it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's, that's certainly a, a challenge with any of these conferences that are in U.S. time zones, right? That's your, your time in India is half a world away, and it really is half a world away. Yes. Okay. Um, so that was all I wanted to do was remind on that, It'd be aware of it. Next topic was DevOps world. Uh, the announcement has been approved by the governance board and has been merged. Now we've got more topics happening there. So we've got DevOps world talks by uh, Google Summer of Code students. So Aditya, you'll be speaking, I presume? Yes, I just got the invite, speaker invite for DevOps. Great, all right. Excellent, thanks very much for speaking there. Then other topics for DevOps world, we've got workshops the 28th. Oleg, does it still feel like it's gonna work for you to be involved in the, in the contributing to Jenkins workshop? It depends. Uh, we still need to discuss it with uh, all organizers whether my involvement is required. Okay. It's currently not in my quarter plan, but uh, theoretically it's possible. Okay. I mean, so uh, it depends on the uh, complexity of the workshop because if it's just a guided tour, we can do one. If it's something really complicated, we will need to prepare it. Great. And, and previously I had, uh, Diraj had agreed to assist, has agreed to assist. Um, I don't recall if I'd asked you, Aditi, if you'd be willing to assist again with another contributing to Jenkins workshop like you did for the Contributor Summit. Uh, yes, Mark, you did. And uh, my reply to that was that uh, 28th and th 30th September, right? So that's a little bit far in my calendar because it'll be a new job and all at that time. So I won't, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to uh, give my time uh, to this, but yes, I am interested in general. So you had put me on hold as far as I remember last time. Oh, good. Okay. On hold. And let's just listen. That's great. Thank you. Sorry. I should have, should have brought my notes forward. Thanks. Excellent. So Mark planning to uh, lead and, and yeah, I agree Oleg with your observation. It depends on, I think we should keep it simple, but, but even then let's be sure we keep talking to see, does it actually fit in with, with your capacity? I'm still not sure what is my capacity. Uh, by default, uh... I'm not sure, is Damien still interested? I, I, I think he was interested. I'll, I've, I've got to double check with him. That's my, my action item. I'll check with Damien to see if he's interested.
I don't recall. I thought he and I discussed it and he'd said, no, he just wasn't going to be able to do it. But let me double check. There we go. Okay, great. Now on the Jenkins or the, on the, is it a CDF track or Jenkins sessions? Is there anything Oleg that you're aware of that we need to do there? I think the conference organizers have already got their speakers selected and started the recording process. I know that um, Zenob and I have submitted our recording or have, have, have had the recording session. So I know for sure that uh, my student has uh, submitted the recording okay. uh, for JSOC. I don't know what's the status for the rest. I believe it's Kara who was managing that. Uh, maybe you and Elisa, I have no idea. Yeah, so GSOC recordings are in progress and, and um, that's good. I was just thinking if there were any other details that you, you were aware of that outside of GSOC, um, I'm not aware of any. I think I think that's under control, and the organizers have got it handled. I'm not sure the plan was to publish the agenda in June. Now it's August, and from what I understand, nothing has been published yet. So, yeah, for me, I still don't understand whether we will have Herzogfeda, whether we will have uh, uh, booths for Jenkins at this time, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah. I'm slightly disconnected. I want to chat with Alisa, but we haven't done it yet. Actually, if she's available today, maybe I'll uh, have a chat after this meeting. Yeah, I think she's on, on vacation today. I don't think she's in the office today. Uh, okay. I'll check it. Okay, yeah. yeah because currently right. I have zero overlap with uh, Alisa because of various things. Uh, right. So, yeah. So that, those are all the topics I had for DevOps world. Anything else on DevOps world? Oh, Booth well, logistics, I don't have an answer. Oh, go ahead. Uh, contributor summit. Oh, yes, that's right, good. Do we have everything confirmed? Uh, so the, the confirmation things that I was aware of is that we will do it during, uh, do it during Asia PAC time zone. And so that we will host part of DevOps world, right? Basically, right. Because host it on our on the Jenkins Zoom channel, Zoom channel. Because then I would like to challenge uh, the date because October first. If you do it, uh, it will be firstly complicated for any DevOps world participants because the conference is over and then the next morning you wake up in something like three or four hours uh, to uh, start the Jenkins Contributor Summit. I think that in this case, we should push it uh, to the next week or maybe to do it on Saturday. Because Good. Saturday okay. may be more convenient by many, uh, for many contributors. Uh, who kind of dedicated their working time for that. Right, good insight. Yeah, so particularly with this with this effort to reach Asia Pacific. Um, so Aditya, does Saturday work better for you and for colleagues that you know who are employed? If we did it Saturday during the, during the say waking hours, would that be better for, for many people in India or is Saturday off limits? Saturday is fine, but uh, Saturday is compared to which day over here. I think Friday evening would be better than Saturday uh, if you're doing Saturday evening. But if you're saying mo uh, morning hours, then definitely Saturday morning is better compared to Friday morning. Yes, so it will be midday. Um, so how I envision that, it's not concern, confirmed, etc. So we would start at something like 7, 8 a.m. UTC. Uh, so that Europe can participate as well. Um, and yeah, in this case, uh, uh, it would be uh, second part of the day uh, for IPAC region. 
Mm. Yeah, I checked time zones uh, two months ago. It would be even for New Zealand if you organize like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's still tentative. So, so that I I had to just do the translation. So that would be twelve thirty p.m. or one thirty p.m. Oops, it would help if I didn't. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I pressed the wrong key. 12.30 p.m. or 1.30 p.m. India Standard Time. So for me, that's that's noon or lunch or yeah, afternoon India right. time. And that would, that Oleg, your point is that has the benefit that allows New Zealand and sort of Eastern Australia or is it Western Australia? Eastern Australia and China and Japan to still be able to reach into this during at a reasonable time of day. Great. Okay. So is that a discussion we we should start in the mailing list? Should we, I guess, discuss it with Alyssa, et cetera, first, and then? I think mailing list would be fine. Okay. Because again, uh, taking time zone, from, uh, Alice uh, will unlikely be able to uh, participate on her own. Right. So for us, well, the critical question was uh, whether we align it with DevOps world or not. Uh, my assumption, uh, taking the current schedule that uh, you will mark a good confirmation that no. Is it correct? Sorry, I asked your question again. I missed the question. Uh, so when we were discussing the contributor summit, maybe one month ago, you took an action item to discuss with stakeholders and to uh, confirm whether we align it with DevOps world or not. And and I, I talked with Alyssa and other stakeholders and she wanted to continue that alignment, but I think even so, it's still open for us to have this conversation with them to see, should we separate it because of the APAC time zone? APAC time well, if zone- If you do the really, APAC time zone, it's already separated. Mm. Ah, I see. Your sense is that that, that that action alone disconnects it because DevOps world is in Pacific time zone, if I remember it, or US East, it's, it's not in, not not compatible with APAC time. Well, zone. theoretically, it's possible to do um, a contributor summit uh, in a, um, West Coast slash up park. So basically, instead of doing it in the morning of the U, doing it uh, late night uh, U. So it's possible, uh, but then somebody, uh, well, it. It will be more aligned with DevOps world. APAC will be able to participate. Europe won't be able to participate. Uh, it's doable, but uh, yeah, we need to align on that. Yeah, and I, and I think I think Europe morning is a much better choice for the success of the contributor summit and for for our engagement in the contributor summit. So I think that's that's worth then the conversations with Alyssa and others to to change the tie or to set the expectations that we're going to meet during APAC time zone. I shared that with her previously. So I think she's aware of it. It's just, this would say, Hey, we think it needs to go at least one day later so that we can get some sleep after the end of DevOps world, or we may want to do it during the following week for, for if we want to do it during a weekday. So, it's for someone to decide. I definitely have preference uh, of doing uh, a contributor summit in the park time zone. Uh, I definitely cannot commit to doing uh, two contributor summits like we briefly described in June, discussed in June. Yeah, I agree. This, this is a single event. Absolutely no way should we attempt to do two. Well, it could be possible, but it requires bandwidth organizers and we have just three participants in the SIG uh, meeting. So I'm not exactly confident about having enough organizers for this event. Right. If we do two. Got it. Okay. 
All right, so Mark, to start the discussion on Contributor Summit, date and time. Okay, got it. Anything else on DevOps World or and, and Contributor Summit? I don't think so. There is a okay. lot of common topics like Schwag, etc., coordinate sponsorships, but yeah, until we have time, I wouldn't commit on that. Right, right. The, the, there's there's an awful lot of organiz organizing agendas, etc., but Let's get a, a date, a date assured, and then we'll continue the organizing. All right. So next topic we had was on Hacktoberfest, and we had discussed in our last meeting with Aditya um, what topics we wanted to cover, etc. So one idea was in the twenty eighth, contributing to Jenkins workshop, we could do an introduction to Hacktoberfest there. We could also do it during a contributing to Jenkins segment at the Contributor Summit. Uh, both great excuses to involve people, particularly from Asia Pacific, who are being Hacktoberfest participants in a session that's Jenkins specific. And we've got, we've got some rough material, some materials that have already been prepped from previous Hacktoberfest that we can use to, to prep and run this. So I think that's part of the exercise. We need a plan and then we've got to review the plan and talk about how we approach it based on capacity. Now, Aditya, you had asked a question last time, um, or you mentioned Hacktoberfest and Active Loop. Could you give us a little bit more on on what that, that concept was? Uh, yes, Mark. So the concept was something like this. Uh, Active Loop was a part of, uh, so there were two entities over here. One, there was a curated list of all the, uh, you can say organizations slash projects that are participating in Hacktoberfest. Uh, and these, what uh, made them different from rest of the crowd was they were providing some kind of a leaderboard that, uh, and keeping tracks of the contributions made during the October fest for swags or, um, yeah, mostly for swags. And uh, yeah, uh, that leaderboard was, uh, you know, something that was encouraging some healthy competition. And that, I, and I forgot the name of that repository, which had this list, but Active Loop was one of them. And I participated in that and contributed to Active Active Loop, so I know the name of the organization and uh, yeah that thing. So Active Loop was one of them, and they had this leaderboard where they were keeping track of issues uh, the uh, a candidate is solving, the quality of the issue as well as number of issues, and according to that they were scoring them. So the issues had easy, moderate, and difficult dif uh, difficulty levels, so stuff like that. And finally they gave uh, swags to people in the leaderboard list, like they give t-shirts to top three and then some other kind of swag stickers to rest people, so something like that. So that was a way of uh, like a parallel swag thing uh, along with the con uh, this uh, uh, W, uh, oh, the, uh, wait, I forgot the name, Digital Ocean along with Digital Ocean swags, yeah. So that was uh, the whole program. And I, I, I see you have already mentioned, but that, yes, they did that, but they had specific cha Slack channels just for Hacktoberfest questions and uh, support. Okay, so, so it, this feels like it would be an expansion of Techniques now, Oleg. You had, if I remember correctly, in a previous was it a previous Hacktoberfest or a Jenkins Hackfest? You had a GitHub repository that we had used that tracked um, contributors 
Is something like that usable for this concept, or is am I am I misremembering things that no that that idea wouldn't work? Mm, it works quite well. It's possible. Um, yeah, and uh, this repository is basically configuration as code. Um, so it's it's still available. Um, it's just a GitHub action to be connected to the repositories. So, yeah, I think we can do that. Again, just raises the question who would be administering that, who would have time, uh, because yeah, all this administration requires time. Right, exactly. And is your is your sense that that's something that requires your your level of skills, or could somebody with my level of skills or Aditya's a new arrival be able to do that? What's your sense of how how difficult it is to administer that kind of a thing? Well, it's not too difficult. It's just a matter of self-organization because there are so many various things. There are so many time-sensitive topics uh, you need to perform to make it efficient. Uh, so yeah, basically, it's not about the technical skills. It's about ability to dedicate time and to deliver on uh, major action items. Because, for example, if you don't announce October 1st, yeah, wasted some time uh, if you didn't summarize results like it happened with uh, the contributor summit again maybe we lose uh, some impact so yeah, it needs uh, to just uh, be carefully handled um, and uh, not uh, oh, yeah, that's it okay great well and and so i assume we would need to we would have to announce it, and as part of the announcement, we'd have to um, show how the how the repository tracks and and tracks contributions and how we how we use it. Um, if we were to use the idea of that Aditya described, we'd have to find a swag sponsor and some people who are willing to spend the time scoring contributions and. And my guess, my fear is that may be more than we can more than we can handle. Okay, great. Define V. Yeah, so the three people who are on this call with their limited capacity. Yeah, no way. Yeah, so. Okay. Any, it feels like, well, anything else to discuss there on Hacktoberfest? It's for me, the big gap is we've got, we've got a planning exercise that's got to happen and people to help lead the exercise. And I'm not feeling like we've got all the, all the capacity we need yet. So probably have to ask in the community, look for others who may be willing to help see if Gavin or other, other community participants might be available to assist in some way. Yeah. In my case, I prefer to not commit uh, on anything. Um, right. I'm thinking about uh, organizing something for October 1st. I will be definitely doing a local meetup, should it be allowed uh, at that time, and other things. But uh, right now, I don't want to commit. And I think that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Next topic I had on the list was about outreach program status. So we had talked in depth about campus programs, but I think that needs Alyssa. Um, we had had a discussion with Aditya and with Diraj in our meeting two weeks ago. Uh, Aditya, is there anything additional you wanted to share on campus programs while you're here with us today? Uh, actually, no, Mark, I did share everything in the last week. If you want, I can maybe speak on it, but it would be just a repetition of last week. That's okay. I think we can refer to the previous previous meeting notes. And when I get the recordings uploaded, they'll be available as well. Great. So Google Summer of Code, brief status report there. It's moving forward. Thanks to Martin, Martin and to Oleg and to Kara. Um, Martin's getting things scheduled for the final presentations. Aditya, congratulations on your progress. So presentations will be done in a webinar to, to the community as a whole and also at DevOps World. Thank you. Then SheCode Africa is planning their Contributeathon for 2022. 
Uh, so think April of 2022, it's a long ways out. I've, I've posted an initial question to the Jenkins community forum to community.jenkins.io. Uh, no responses yet, and, but we'll continue working that topic as we get closer. Probably participate in that, but in a more public manner that we did, we did it last time. Oh, so we need uh, more mentors, uh, but yeah, I think that we can do that. Yes, I and I agree with you. We 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 need to use what we learned from our last retrospective to do a better job with Contributeon. But I think I think we can and should participate. Yeah, one other things. Uh, so a few other things for outreach programs. So last year we tentatively discussed um, uh, yeah, well, LFX uh, mentorship programs for documentation. Uh, so it's a question right for you, Mark, as documentation officer. Do you see any possibility that we can make it happen? I think it might be possible in like November, December. I don't see anything between now and end of October. To we we had someone who was interested in applying, and we had topics relative to Kubernetes. But I don't have capacity between now and end of October to to do a, a documentation mentorship, and I don't think others have that capacity either. Now we've got we've got several consistent attendees at our docs office hours. Um, Diraj attends every week, Meg McRoberts and Kristen Whetstone. So we could conceivably repurpose those documentation office hours as mentorship weekly and, and consider that. So I'm just not sure that, that I can see it happening yet. Is there a time, is there a time scale on this Oleg that it needs to happen soon? money might go away or something like that or it's more of hey the sooner we do it the sooner we get benefit from it uh, yeah, it's uh, the letter and also well it's so there are standard uh, timelines so the next uh, standard uh, translate uh, starts in october it might be, oh. uh, but yeah i don't think that uh, it's something uh, for pause so next, next you say starts. Uh, they they have a, a a running series of is it quarterly every six months? When do they start new mentorship? So October and then mm, January start, or uh, when we want. So there is a kind of standard pattern. So if you want to be in newsletters, etc., you should uh, follow this pattern. If not, uh, yeah, then it will be a bit more complicated, but it's still doable. Ah, okay, I see. And is that newsletter promotion on a quarterly cycle or on every six months or every year? I don't know because, well, let's say they're organizing LFX team at the moment. So I'm not sure who's even handling that. I have uh, direct connections uh, with uh, leaders of LFX at the moment. So we can uh, help with that. So again, it shouldn't be an obstacle for us. Okay, great. So if we had, if we had mentors, we could we we've got we know we've got funds available and we know we've got we we could use this if we're October if mentors are available. Maybe what I'll do is let me I had not put this onto the docs office hours um, meeting agenda. Let me put it on the agenda for discussion there. I suspect the answer will be no, I don't think there's capacity, but let me ask. We also had a tentative discussion for uh, either Kubernetes operator uh, or for um, the client plugin. I mean, I don't have been breath to revisit it right now, but yeah, maybe I will uh, think people later. Yeah, so there was Kubernetes in general, and you said Kubernetes operator and Tekton client plugin. Great. Any other outreach program items that we should should note? Yeah, 
not at the moment. So I guess we won't be applying to uh, winter session of outreach. I haven't seen any interest in that at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, is, but, uh, help me out there, is Outreachy different than the Linux Foundation mentorship? Yes. It is, right? Yeah, it's a separate uh, project, uh, separate program. Um, but the yeah, first is quite expensive. Secondly, we need to apply in September with project ideas. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't like to commit unless there is a company sponsor who wants to fund this effort. And, right and now, we that's... don't have so many funds in Jenkins. We we'll spent twenty k dollars uh, on outreach. So, as events officer, at the moment, I'm against uh, spending uh, funds on that unless uh, we have clear idea how it would be beneficial uh, to the community and how we could uh, use it efficiently. Okay. Well, and, and I assumed that we would, would prefer a corporate sponsor in that case, rather than using Jenkins fund direct funds directly. We don't have enough funds uh, to fund outreach. So just to provide oh, oh. some numbers, uh, if you want to run outreach, you have put a six and a half thousand dollars per student. Uh, it's higher than Google Summer of Code at the moment. It's higher than uh, LFX mentorship. It's basically higher than almost any uh, outreach program in the world. Okay. Um, and so far, I don't see it, uh, that it achieves uh, its goals uh, because yes, yeah, students participate, but then they disappear. We have never had any student who sticked around uh, in the Jenkins community as a result of outreach. Uh, so, if we want to actually reach uh, the program's goals, we need to come approach completely different. Yeah. And I'm not ready to commit on that this year. Got it. Okay. So, not not planned, not not even hoped for. That makes sense. It just doesn't doesn't make sense for us to attempt outreach if we could, it seems like we could get greater benefit and more flexibility from the Linux Foundation mentorship than we yeah, could you can from uh, run uh, three programs instead. <laughs> right, have, with, uh, with funds. Uh, choice of uh, mentees, because in outreach, you basically don't have much choice. Uh, there are not so many applicants uh, and yeah. Got it, okay. Yeah, so the, the crucial. Yes, I'm sorry to cut you off. I, I would have to drop off because of another meeting. Yeah, that's perfectly yeah. fine. Thanks, Thank Aditya. So Thank you for Thanks joining. <laughs> and I think we've covered all the topics. Were there other topics I like that you had? Well, there is one minor heads up. I will be sending an email to advocacy and outreach seek because I've got a request from uh, whatever German uh, aggregator of open source jobs, etc. They uh, want to list um, the German uh, Jenkins area meetups and uh, Jenkins communities on their website. So they request some collaboration from the project side. And I will uh, probably just start a thread in the mailing list. And another quick heads up with it. Uh, most likely I will be returning to the question of uh, job support uh, in community Jenkins IO. So we had a brief discussion with Gavin Morgan about that. We had uh, discussions with uh, uh, a few other contributors. So I think it might sense, uh, might make sense to have it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need to firstly build consensus uh, in the Jenkins governance board. Great. And last but not least, uh, we have the elections cycle starting in September. Right, so, and the actual election is, elections are in, is it November with announcement in December? Or is it, it's uh, actually elections are in December? No, elections are in November. We might uh, adjust the timeline slightly. Um, but if you follow the previous timeline, it would be November. Yeah. Okay. 
Excellent. Anything else? Okay, then let's call this session end. Thanks very much. I'll post the recording. I'm way behind on posting recordings, so my apologies. It may be several days before I get to, to posting the recording of the meeting. Notes are available here, and uh, recording, I'll get to it as time allows. Okay. Thanks.